Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome, dear friends. Welcome to another video lecture by Kami Biyadji. Uh, today in this video lecture we are going to talk about the difference between acute inflammation and chronic inflammation okay in the previous video lecture if you guys remember we talked about the acute inflammation and chronic inflammation but we explain it diagrammatically today we are going to explain each inflammation the type of inflammation uh, means we just are we just going to talk about the difference between them so let's explain uh, first of all let's explain the definition uh, let's explain the difference between the definition of acute and chronic inflammation so, so in case of acute inflammation it is actually the response of our body which are activated against any damages uh, the damages may be you know caused by splinter it is caused by you know a force bite or uh, we can say a trauma so due to this way uh, such uh, inflammations uh, or such response are activated and uh, such a response are actually short term means it, it take a very low time okay or we can say it is activated in a very short time uh, and it can treat the uh, you know damages within a second within a minute within a days on the uh, on the other hand if we talked about the chronic inflammation so it is the same response but the treatment or the a response is activated it can take almost month or years and it is very complicated and complex in this case different kinds of diseases are activated inside our body and sometimes such inflammation you know uh, may be treated or not treated we can say like that then we have the specificity of acute and chronic inflammation so remember one thing about the acute inflammation now if we talked about the specificity of the acute inflammation so in case of acute inflammation they don't have specific okay they don't have the specificity why because in this case the inflammation may be activated at uh, this area at this area at this area at any part of the body the inflammation is activated and at any part of the, our body you know such inflammations are activated and treated but in case of chronic inflammation it is the specific inflammation of our body and in this case uh, although both are the same but in chronic inflammation specific immunity are activated in this case in acute inflammation the uh, we can say innate immunity is activated but in this case in chronic inflammation the specific immunity is activated that's why we can say that chronic inflammation is specific as compared to the acute inflammation so, uh, then we have the etiology main causes of the acute and chronic inflammation so let's talk about that you know uh, when we talked about the acute inflammation the main causes of the acute inflammation are the physical and chemical damages physical and chemical damages which is usually caused by the pathogen invasion which is actually caused by the tissue necrosis and we can say it is usually caused by a splinter or any foreign bodies okay uh, trauma we can say wound these kinds of things are actually mentioned or these are the etiology for spite are also you know uh, mentioned in the etiology of the acute inflammation so so actually these are the main uh, etiology of the acute inflammation then we talked about the chronic inflammation so the main causes or the main etiology of the uh, chronic inflammation is the prolonged irritation chemicals so, so whenever the body is exposed to prolonged chemical irritations and foreign particles dust surgical thread infection by microorganism that cannot be overcome means such microorganism cannot be overcome for a long times by our body and due to this way tuberculosis syphilis and brucellosis such kinds of disease are activated uh, due to this chronic inflammation then we have you know uh, immune cells now in case of acute inflammations so the immune cells are the involved in this case are the dendritic cells kufar cells now if you talked about the kufar cell so kufar cell are those cells which are present inside the liver and specially responsible okay these are specially responsible to engulf or to break down the red blood cell those red blood cells whose life span is completed okay then we have histocytes the cells of the tissue and resistance macrophages and mast cells okay we already talked about macrophages and mast cells as well you can just go back to my channel and you can watch it then we have the immune cells of the chronic inflammation so in case of the chronic inflammation they contain macrophages <coughs> neutrophils and lymphocytes as they are specific so they usually contain lymphocytes b lymphocytes and t lymphocytes 
then we have the responses what kind of the responses are activated in case of acute and what kind of the responses are activated in case of uh, you know uh, a chronic inflammation so acute inflammation are usually known as a triple response levis why because they can activate three kinds of the responses inside our body redness increase blood flow and edema on the other hand if we talked about the chronic inflammation so in this case fibrosis phenomena are usually occur now what actually happen in fibrosis if let's say any body of uh, if let's say any area of a body are become damaged so due to this way such area of a body are you know treated how it is treated the fibrosis are activated and they can clot that specific area then we have angiogenesis now what is angiogenesis angiogenesis is that phenomena or that process in which uh, let's suppose if any area of our body let's suppose that area of our body are become damaged or the vessels or dead area become you know lost so due to this way such area of a body are repaired and the blood vessel or that specific area are repaired we call that angiogenesis we have cardiac signs now in case of acute inflammation the cardiac signs are the pain heat redness and swelling such things are not mentioned in the chronic inflammation so the cardiac sign there is no cardiac sign in the chronic inflammation so we can say it is very complicated and complex okay so that's all about the difference between the acute and chronic inflammation i hope you understand about the chronic and acute inflammation uh, if you like this video so make sure to hit the like button share this video and if you have any kind of question in your mind so you can write it to a comment and also subscribe the channel to get more interesting videos like that and take care bye allah